Okay, good morning. I'd like to call the uh, special planning and works uh, public meeting to order, please. We do have regrets from Councillor Redmond and uh, Councillor Lorenz today. Motion to go into open public uh, public meeting. Uh, Councillor Armstrong, Councillor Clark, all in favor? Okay, the purpose of today's public meeting is to receive comments from the community on a proposed amendment to the regional official plan. Today's public meeting is required under section seven sub 15 of the Planning Act. The notice of this public meeting was advertised in the record on February 21, 18 and in the New Hamburg Independent on March 28, 2018. The proposed amendment was also posted on the Region of Waterloo's website. Prior to today's meeting, the Township of Wilmot also hosted a public open house and public meeting related to the proposed amendment in October of last year. Delegations will be heard today, but no decisions will be made. Anyone in attendance today will be given an opportunity to speak. Please keep your comments to within five minutes. Delegations are reminded to give their full name at the beginning of the presentation. Anyone speaking on behalf of a group is asked to please indicate the party they represent. Regional staff will summarize any comments heard today as part of a future report to Regional Council. This report will also provide staff's recommendations regarding the proposed amendment. If you wish to be notified of further meetings on this amendment, please add your contact information to the sign-in sheets provided at the entrance to the chamber. Written comments may be sub submitted to the Regional Clerk. So at this point, I will turn to, uh, to uh, Mr. Regier to uh, introduce the, the, the topic, and there is a, a short presentation from staff, after which we do have one registered delegation. I'll ask for any additional delegations to, uh, to discuss the matter. Uh, but again, there are no decisions being made here today. This is a public input meeting that will be used to, uh, to uh, complete a report, a future report coming back to Regional Council on the matter. Mr. Regier. Thank you, Chair Galloway. This is a, um, uh, with regard to a proposed amendment to uh, the regional official plan to rationalize the boundaries of the countryside line and uh, Baden and New Hamburg Township uh, urban areas. And Ms. Alyssa Bridge will provide a brief overview of the proposed amendment. Good morning, Alyssa. Uh, good morning, Chair Galloway and members of the Planning and Works Committee. My name is Alyssa Bridge and I'm a Principal Planner in Community Planning. At the request of the Township of Wilmont, the Region has initiated an amendment to the Regional Official Plan. When Regional Council adopted the new ROP in 2009, it established a policy framework for the four townships to review the boundaries of their respective township urban areas and country sideline that were delineated in the new ROP. This review, referred to as a rationalization exercise, is intended to give each township an opportunity to more closely evaluate and, if necessary, realign these boundaries to redirect growth to areas where servicing is more readily available and to areas that can more efficiently accommodate growth. The purpose of the proposed ROP amendment is to rationalize the boundaries of the Baden and New Hamburg township urban areas in the countryside line in accordance with the policies of the ROP. The proposed amendment will also redesignate lands being rationalized from the township urban areas to prime agricultural. If approved, the proposed ROP amendment will, would implement the boundary rationalizations proposed by the Township of Wilmont through Official Plan Amendment Number 9 to the Township of Wilmont's Official Plan. Last year, the Township of Wilmont completed a detailed review of its Official Plan, which culminated in the adoption of OPA Number 9 in December 2017. As a result of this review, the Township has requested the Region to initiate a ROP amendment to finalize and rationalize the boundaries of the countryside line and in Baden and New Hamburg Township urban areas. Prior to today's meeting, there was a fulsome public process leading up to the adoption of OPA number 9, including a public open house in October of 2017 and a statutory public meeting also in October 2017. Township Council considered a report and a recommendation with respect to OPA number 9 in December 2017 and a notice of adoption was issued on December 18, 2017. On January 30, 2018, regional staff requested authorization from regional council to initiate the proposed ROP amendment. 
The proposed amendment will revise Map 3C and Map, map 7 of the ROP. Baden and New Hamburg are designated as township urban areas on Map 3C of the ROP. The proposed changes to the township urban boundaries are illustrated here. Areas to be designated as township urban area are shown with a striped hatch, and areas to be removed from the township urban area are shown with a crosshatch pattern. The proposed amendment would finalize and rationalize the boundaries of these settlement areas to reflect the boundaries as proposed by the township through official plan amendment number nine. The countryside line is delineated on map seven of the ROP. The proposed countryside line is illustrated here. The countryside line represents the long-term boundary between the existing Baden and New Hamburg township urban area and the countryside. The proposed amendment would rationalize this boundary to focus the township's long-term growth between Baden and New Hamburg. The proposed amendment will also redesignate lands being rationalized from the township urban area to prime agricultural on map seven of the ROP. Staff will review all comments received from today's public meeting and the circulation process. Copies of written correspondence received to date have been distributed for your information. Staff intends to present a follow-up report to Planning and Works Committee later this spring to summarize the results of today's public meeting and any comments received through the circulation process. The report will also outline staff's recommendation to Regional Council on the proposed amendment. That concludes my presentation today. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Alyssa. Any uh, questions to Alyssa before we hear the delegation? I have one, Alyssa. Okay. There are a few areas within the, uh, the rationalization of uh, the boundaries, some lands that are being added, some lands that are being uh, subtracted. For those lands that are being subtracted, um, is there generally a reason for their being removed from the, uh, from the boundaries? Sure, so the, the ROT maps reflect what was proposed through the township and the township did a detailed evalu evaluation on a parcel by parcel basis. So they looked at items such as servicing constraints or infrastructure constraints, um, environmental constraints on the properties and other things that might impede the future development of those parcels. Okay, no other questions. Thanks very much, Melissa. We do have one delegation, it's Mr. Ben Roth. Uh, welcome, Mr. Roth. Uh, you can uh, start by giving us your name, I, well, your name we know, but your address, and, uh, and then carry on with your presentation. Mr. Chair, councillors, uh, good morning. Happy spring. Uh, my name is Ben Rote. I'm a resident of Hamilton. Uh, my sister uh, is here. I appear today on behalf of my father, Lyle Rote, and my aunt, Arlene Rote, who are lifelong residents of New Hamburg. Uh, my father is currently resident in the Nithview community. My aunt lives, uh, continues to live on the property that we're going to discuss today. At their request, uh, I'm here to address you about the rationalization of the property. Uh, and I'm specifically discussing the area in the southwest corner of uh, the, the uh, if you referred to the previous map, so I didn't bring a presentation. I have provided a, uh, a memorandum uh, for your review that, that basically summarizes my comments, uh, but it's the southwest uh, corner of the New Hamburg uh, township urban area that we're discussing. And uh, in summary, uh, this particular land uh, has been designated as res for, de for residential purposes for some time, does have development potential, is bounded on three sides by residential properties with a highway forming the fourth side, and is really too small to be practically used for agricultural purposes. Indeed, it is used for agricultural, simply out of land stewardship at this present time, but it's a much too small area to be practically farmed. Retaining the current designated greenfield area would facilitate uh, divestiture for development in the near future. Designating the land as proposed for agricultural use would significantly decrease the allowable density, thereby reducing the potential for development and probably adversely impacting property value. So our respectful recommendation and request is that the land be left as currently designated as designated greenfield area. This ends my presentation, subject to your questions. Thank you, Mr. Roth. Any questions to uh, Mr. Roth? 
Councillor Mitchell. Yes, uh, Mr. Ruth, there does appear to be one. Uh, Councillor to staff? Yes, to the delegation. To the delegation, okay. Does the area have any, like, uh, designated um, environmentally sensitive landscape or provincial protected areas in, in this particular area? Through the chair, about? not that I'm aware of, subject to staff comment. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll ask staff questions yeah. as well. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, any other questions, Mr. Roth? That's it. Seeing none, uh, maybe, uh, Alyssa, you can answer uh, Councillor um, Mitchell's question, whether, you know, uh, uh, speaking specifically to Mr. Roth's land or, or the, uh, the family's land, um, if there's an provincially significant uh, environmental features on the property. Sure, through you, Mr. Chair. I don't have the detailed property mapping with me this morning, but that's something certainly that we can look at and report back to Council when we come back um, with a further report on this matter. You're welcome. So, um, if I could ask, there, there must be, and, and the reason I asked your question, the question before the delegation was typically when a lands are being taken out of an urban area, which is more unusual. Than, than being put in. Um, there's a reason of why these lands are, I mean, well, is it infrastructure problems? Uh, do, do you know, Alyssa, what the specific problem is with the Roth property, why the township and, and regional staff are, are recommending its removal? Uh, sure, I can speak, speak generally to that. We understand from conversations with township staff that there's some severe um, servicing limitations with this parcel. Um, the township had a comprehensive servicing report done of their township urban areas and it looked at um, the entirety of those areas and this parcel and I, I understand that this parcel would require a pumping station and there isn't enough land in the surrounding area to justify the cost of the pumping station. Can anybody confirm that, that it, it can't be gravity serviced? Is, is that confirmed? Okay. It cannot be gravity serviced? Okay. Well, I, I think we'd like to have that answered if, it, yeah, I think that's, uh, uh, that, that's very essential to the issue that Mr. Roth has, uh, has raised, is what is the reason why his family lands are being taken out? They, they, they are currently in the urban boundary. More typically, we find, you know, developers who want to get their lands into the boundary. This is now being taken out of the boundary. So, um, um, yeah, if we could understand a little better the servicing issues associated with the Roth property. Uh, thank you, Chair Galloway. Uh, my name is Harold McCraftkin, the Director of Planning for the Township of Wilmot. Uh, the Township had Conestoga Rovers complete a detailed servicing analysis of every property inside the countryside line with a goal to looking to the long term to be able to consolidate our growth, uh, achieve the densities the province requires, provide capacity for infilling, and to also ensure that we're not extending fingers of infrastructure into areas that um, basically would be a waste of money long term for the municipality. So really uh, infrastructure focused asset management, if you will, uh, approach. Uh, these lands have been included in New Hampshire for, I believe, since 1980. Um, there has been uh, a number of developers over the years that have looked at them. There would be a portion of the lands that could be developed uh, with gravity, most of those are that existing Joseph Street neighborhood, if you're familiar with that neighborhood, um, that has been developed as sort of a phase one of this this property. And then these lands uh, drain actually towards the regional well on Walker Road. Um, the adjoining developments are all uh, serviced with septic systems. So uh, certainly any development of this property, it would be prudent if you were looking at uh, putting in full services and a, and a pumping station to accommodate it to uh, pull those properties off of septic systems as well. So it expands the nature of infrastructure that we'd have to look at. We'd have to look at it comprehensive, comprehensively and realistically it would go back to the old policy area D from, from the 80s where the Wilmot was looking at New Hamburg expanding towards uh, the county of Perth along the highway. The lands behind the Newburgh Inn, for example, would logically be incorporated into this to create a greater servicing area and then reduce the cost of servicing. A pumping station in this location would have to go along Highway 7 and 8, under Highway 7 and 8, and down to Hayesville Road, uh, areas where there are no sewers currently, so the cost would be extensive. And for that reason, Conestoga Rovers recommended to the township that in terms of short-term uh, 2031 
to 2041 growth, this would not be the property that uh, would not be the best bang for the buck, if you will, for the township of Loma. And again, with limited resources, keeping a residential designation on these lands um, handcuffs the township. Okay, thank you, Harold. Any other questions to uh, township or regional staff? Okay, seeing none, are there any other additional uh, individuals in the audience that would like to address this uh, particular matter? Seeing none, a motion to adjourn. Okay. Councillor um, Council Nowak, Councillor Sean, it's all in favor? Okay, so the public meeting is now concluded and uh, staff will be coming back to the, to the, the committee uh, at a future date with a final recommendation. Thank you very much for coming. We'll switch now into the regular planning and works.